Once upon a time, there was a boy. And a dog. Who met a very pretty girl. They fell in love and started a farm. In hopes to make the world a better place. This is our story. Good morning, everybody. It's nothing like waking up bright and early in the morning and getting patent doubts from some old, old dude with a beard at the TSA security line. Which one, which one of you is going to do it? I know somebody is. I didn't get patted down. Sometimes I'm a little disappointed. This morning, I'm not disappointed. One more day until my birthday. Actually, when you see this, it'll be my birthday. So, happy extravaganza starts right now for one week. I do a one week birthday. I suggest you do the same. It's a lot of fun. The line for Dunkin' Donuts right now at the airport is insane. It's totally absurd. You would think that it's a line to board the flight, but it's not. Well, we made it so far to Atlanta, and uh, it's been awesome. I mean, love flying. Love being here at the airport. Uh, here with Danny, Danny Duncan of We The Kings. It's pretty awesome. Uh, dude, thanks so much for, for being a part. It's so nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I know, I'm kind of lost for words right now. This is awesome. We got Charles Strippy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is crazy. They all passengers. Hey so if you do get another seat that comes from the hey scanner, buddy. that will be your new seat. I got in trouble for interacting with the dog in training. <laughs> Whoops. Whoa. Whoa. It's a 200 pound dog. So that dog was 200 pounds. Usually they put them below in like a, a container that's, um, I don't know, oxygenated or pressurized, like the cabin, but it's not inside the actual cabin. She literally was like putting it through the seats and I guess it just sat there the whole time, but that was the biggest dog I've ever seen, probably in my life, much less on a plane. Even though it's my birthday coming up, I decided that I'm gonna get uh, Jenny <laughs> a present. She loves these like circular Ray-Ban glasses and I'm gonna find them and I'm gonna buy them for her and surprise her with them. Because that's what I like to do. There they are. She had them from her sister stole them. So I bought them for her. Good husband. Well, this is definitely a different climate than Rhode Island. It's about 79 degrees here right now. But there is freshwater spring river. 72 degrees at all times, and I'm definitely going in there. The crowd could not be farther from the stage. Not that there's a crowd. We're about six hours early for the show, but for sound check, their crowd is way out there. It's gonna be kind of weird to play for a giant space and then a bunch of people. So you remember yesterday uh, how I kept finding fruit that Charles put in my suitcase? This was waiting for me, wedged in behind my clean clothes. So I want you to know, that full reality, re realitation, retaliation is in uh, effect. Right, so I'm just gonna load your entire suitcase with vitamin C pills and, and I'm gonna take everything else out and leave it wherever I put it. <laughs> that was for Ali West. <laughs> I didn't want to break your camera and everything that you had uh, in it. We got a couple, uh, I gotta get away from you now. Do not push me in the water with all the stuff that I have in my pocket. Why are you uh, Because I'm a human being and that's what we do. We put stuff in our pockets. Right. We got a couple guest features. We have Crystal Murphy. She has been one of the longest supporters of We The Kings for forever and ever and ever. And then we got Jose. Hello. My only friend from San Antonio. Uh, actually, no, because Nerd Rock's from San Antonio. So I got two friends from San Antonio. You have to be one of them. Let's go over there. I'm going to go under the bridge. What? I'm going to go under the bridge. I want to go under you the bridge. There? Look at all the grass. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's real life. That guy did it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all clear over there. All right, let's do it. We're going all the way from the waterfall to our stage. Not just to go on stage, but just for the sake of That'd be awesome, tubing. Oh my God, if we just got out of the water and we're like, hey, we what's just, up everybody? We just Phoebe Cates to everything. See, look, they're fishing for alligators. Yeah. Have you guys caught any crocodiles yet? Nope. <laughs> That's a good sign. I'm going swimming then. Look at that. You won't whitewater raft without a raft. Huh? <laughs> There's rocks down there. <laughs> Over there is like, hey, don't move it out there. <laughs> I want it. Oh, uh, are you bringing that with the, you? Uh, no, because it will get waterlogged. Uh, you're going into Jose Vision, uh, so if he decides to film, 
It will be his footage and not mine. So going in right now. See ya. Careful, watch your feet. Shallow, dude. Hey, here, take this with you. Huh? Do you have a clip for yourself? Okay. I don't know if I'm good at backflips, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> ah, that's why you wanted me to. Feels great. Come in. <laughs> I got all my necklaces too. It's a win-win situation. We're going on a little journey, Charles and I. It's kind of like a lazy river, but we don't know where it comes out. It's kind of cold. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a turtle. <laughs> oh, dude, we should have played like here. Like, I'm. <laughs> ah, I thought I could stand. <laughs> I was. Go here, dude. I was drowned. I gotta turn you off and swim. Vital life necessities right now. The water was awesome, and I came back to a little gift from Texas State where we're playing. A little jersey to wear on stage. It's actually pretty awesome, I gotta admit. I feel like a real life football player, and their colors are maroon and gold. So, I got khaki. Khaki is my form of gold. But more importantly, look at this. 2-2, Two -two, Tampa Bay versus the Red Wings. Obviously, I'm a Tampa Bay fan. We need the Lightning to win. Lightning are gonna take the Stanley Cup. Mark my words right now. Lightning will win the Stanley Cup. We're not gonna do the tour bus thing anymore. We're just gonna do straight up van with a bunch of bucket seats Dude, <laughs> and cool lighting. Part of it is we like are rolling the through the That'll be cool now. for the first four yeah, hours. Yeah. Like, no four hours? I'm gonna get four <laughs> minutes <laughs> before <laughs> somebody's like, yo, who farted? <laughs> the lights are down, which only means it's showtime. Texas State. I hope you enjoy your show, Ready? but you're the internet, so I don't know if you'll ever see it. Hey, is this your vlog? Yeah, are you a fan? Do I just, do I, do, can they hear me now? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like a scary movie. Hi, hi Travis hi, Clark, hi. television show. I don't even know what to call it. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, see ya. Absolutely incredible. Give me some skit. Honda from across the table. Front deck. Did we just hold hands? I'm not even upset. I'm not even upset. Felt good. Let's do that more often. Charles, you think you can hide bananas and oranges in my backpack? I'm gonna dump an entire bucket of double bubble in the bottom of your bag. Thank you, Danny, for distracting him because that was huge. Right now, we are at a race against the clock. It is currently 11:54. 
Six, right? I got, 11.53. I got three. That's the iPhone time, so it's always correct. It's always correct. Uh, 11.53, which means seven minutes until I turn 30 years old. That is crazy. This is the last chance that I'll ever have in my 20s. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to like go streaking or something. Something just, they be like, oh, dude, what were you doing when you turned 30? Be like, I was naked. <laughs> but I wish Jenny was here. It's so sad. I that's that's where I realized that I'm turning 30. Is I wish my wife was here. I wish we just had a glass of wine together <laughs> on the couch, watching a movie. That sounds perfect to me. But instead, I have my best friends, and we're going to a bar. The polar opposite. <laughs> Happy birthday! Woo! Baloney. Uh, the party was awesome. It was very, very cool. Now we're at the airport. We literally didn't even go home to sleep, uh, which means I'm gonna pass out on this flight. I love you guys and you know, hope that you had a, a great time watching this vlog. I'm tired. I'm just tired. And it's my birthday though. Still, April 24th. My favorite day ever. Actually, not even my favorite day ever. My favorite day ever is the day that I met Jenny. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with that. Love you guys. Good night. Bye.